Good evening, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to you all. My name is Nati, and I would like to welcome everybody joining us this evening for a very, very special webinar that we are doing. Um, you won't be seeing my face right now because of technical glitches that we're having, but I know everybody I'm looking at, all of the attendees that have joined us, it's so great to see all of the very familiar names of all the different partners and guests that we've worked with in the past. Um, we have um, very special people joining us. Um, Robin is joining us. Um, Simon Muir is joining us all the way from Germany. So welcome everybody. Um, if you're in South Africa, hope you're keeping warm and you're staying warm and you have a bit of light. ESCOM is not doing you very dirty or anything like that, but we are here to give you a very, very special webinar, uh, which will just um, highlight uh, some of the very special things that are happening here at Artist Brook Studio with our education program, with our internship program, and what some of our artists are doing out there in the world of arts. We are also gonna be touching on what's gonna be coming up, which is a very, very special art fair that's coming up on the 21st and up until the 24th of July which will be hosted at the Oxford Parks in Rosebank. It's gonna be a very, very special one. It's a very, very different one. Hence, we've also started um, turning it up a notch here at Artist Proof Studio, put together a nice selection of artists that are gonna be creating some of these artworks um, that we're gonna be showcasing at the art fair. Um, along that, it's also gonna be showcased online so everybody will be able to see the show. So Simon, everybody else aboard, you'll be able to see some of those artworks and purchase the artworks. So you're all part of this whole experience. Like I said, um, welcome to you all. If you don't know, um, Artist Proof Studio has been around since 1991. For 31 years, we have been providing the most amazing training, um, working with um, so many talented youngsters giving them or providing them with a workplace, workplace training, as well as skills development, where they are able to work on different commissions that we work on at the studio. They also work with, um, we also work with at Artist Proof Studio, an incredibly talented team of master printers, the master printers who collaborate with various artists locally and internationally. Prints are sold through our online store and we're able to have exhibitions and showcase some of these prints done by some of our students and various artists in our partner galleries, as well as the art fair, which I'm gonna be talking about later on in a bit, um, which is the Turban Art Fair. Education, which is then fully subsidized for learners exiting matric um, who are able then to uh, apply at Artist Proof Studio and come and study with us. But, before we get the show started, I am not by myself this evening. I am joined by my fellow colleagues, Renee and Tracy. Renee is going to be just talking a bit more about what we do here in our education program, um, a very, very special fourth year program, which is an internship program where she's also going to be introducing two um, shining stars that are doing fantastic work here at the studio, as well as out there in the art world. So Renee, I hand over to you. Thanks, Nati. Hi, everyone. Uh, good evening. Uh, my name is Renee Lomatibe, and I manage the education program and also the social media for Artist Proof Studio. Um, today, we've got Sabdelo and Begezela, who both graduated in 2020. Um, can you guys just tell us a little bit about your experience during COVID, especially the lockdown, like how was your experience studying your final year uh, during the lockdown? Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Begazela Mapena. Okay, so I'm in, uh, I'm interning here in uh, that is school student, the gallery. And yes, about the um, the time uh, when 2020 while uh, we're studying. So it was our final year basically. So things became a little bit tough, uh, but somehow, somehow with the help of uh, Artist Proof Studio, we, they, 
with the education unit, basically they managed to help us with the material to work at home so that we didn't have to struggle that much. And also um, uh, for some way who couldn't be actually on the on the social media because we our classes had to become on social media, had to uh, to be on to have online classes basically. So they actually helped us a lot with that. But uh, the time was really, really tough because um, everything was was shut down. And but somewhere it gave us the opportunity to actually come out to to be creative more, to actually work on your concept and practice more on your craft. Um, yeah. Mm. And also, I mean, with the education program, we run a three-year program. So these guys were in their final year where they actually had to come up with a body of work um, to exhibit uh, at the end of the year. So throughout the three years, they learn different uh, printmaking techniques. Um, and then by the final year, they have to kind of uh, major in specific techniques that they actually push um, and also pushing the boundaries of what they've learned throughout the years. Um, I wanted to ask you, Shavutelo, since you practicing, you are practicing artist and you also an assistant in the professional print studio here at APS. What's the what was the differences that you saw while studying and now being uh, printing with master printers in the pro shop? Hi, hello everyone. Um, my name is Ngovin Shavtelo. I'm attending at Pro Shop as a printer or to be a professional printer. So um, since I'm attending at Pro Shop, uh, the different I see every day. Uh, when I was uh, a learner or oh, the time I was learning, mm -hmm. um, the the work that the teachers or our facilitators they give us, um, I was like doing the work to submit the work or to finish the work uh, uh, to meet the deadline early. So mm -hmm. I was like not planning uh, when I do the work. Uh, it also, uh, I did the one of the work uh, for, my in, uh, for my graduation in 2020. So uh, there's a work I did there. So I usually work more with colors. And also there's a work I did for the cleaners or the other one was So this work was a lot of colors there. So what I did, I was like mixing a small amount of colors. And then when I print the work, so the work was like, okay, the color was like finished before the other sheet. And then, so I have to like, to restart uh, mixing another color to get the same color that I used to print uh, edition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the, the color wasn't the same. <laughs> and then, so the different was uh, when, uh, for now I'm attending Pro Shop. So they teach me like to do planning. And when I mix color, I have to, to match the color before I continue printing. So mm -hmm. I can see I did, I get, I get the right colors or not. So the different is, uh, Every day I'm learning at Pro Shop. It feel like it's a new things for me, mm -hmm. but then I did when I was learning. But I feel like it's a new things for me, like everything. Mm -hmm. So it's more professional, you know. That's why yeah. I'm working with them. <laughs> it's one of the best, I have to say. One of the best. <laughs> <laughs> so you you really learned a lot in terms of uh, planning because I mean with printmaking, especially if you have two edition. Um, prints, let's say 10, um, you need to make sure that you have everything in order before you can start envisioning. So I think, I mean, we, we've seen you guys in your third year when you, when you are planning for your, for your third year. It's always, a, it's always a mess in the studio. People are always running around and it's, uh, it's very hectic during the, the last few months of your year but I think learning from the, the master printers is really um, important to also understand like if you're working with a professional artist if they're coming to collaborate with us so that you always prepared and um, the planning has been done beforehand so that they can come and actually do the work um, swiftly 
Um, and then what projects have you been involved in in the pro shop uh, this past year? Okay, so uh, the project I have, last year I was working with Begezela Mapena. So mm -hmm. he's my classmate and also we did third year, both of us, and then project same year. So mm -hmm. I was going to for Begezela for Cape Town at fair last year. Mm -hmm. uh, I was doing color reductions and then uh, this year we did TEF uh, for Artist Pro Studio, Teban mm -hmm. Adve. And also I printed uh, for Sana Klapo. So it's part of uh, uh, Artist Pro Studio. So mm -hmm. I was printing for his work for Cape Town at Fair and also for the Counter Man. Also I printed for Togazani Matoncela. So for Togazani Matoncela, uh, the pro they wanted to show they wanted to see if I can edition mm. you know yeah I also printed William Cambridge yeah cool hey that's, hey that's yeah no that's good yeah big guns <laughs> yeah so you started you started very very high on a high oh. note after you graduated you worked on the top, uh, the Cape Town Art Fair and then throughout the year you've been printing with graduates of APS and um, big names like William Kentridge. So that's fantastic. Um, and then Begazella, your experience in the gallery. So working with um, Flavutelo um, now as a, as a professional printmaker, not as a peer in terms of studying or, you know, in class, how has your experience been um, since graduating? So the Cape Town Art Fair and um, now. Uh... Okay, so first thing first, uh, when I came to the pro shop uh, yeah. with my first plate, uh, I told them that um, I'm colorblind. <laughs> I was colorblind, basically. So with the help of Cavutello and uh, Suspi, uh, them teaching me how to mix color, how to play around with color, how to... Uh, it really, really helped and really, really opened up uh, a lot because mm -hmm. uh, somehow, somehow uh, being in the education side and being in the pro shop, everything uh, is different because uh, I one thing that I know of is like the registration of the of Chabutelo is something else. I, I, I don't even know how she does this registration. So... <laughs> Because uh, we did uh, 40, 45 prints without any misprints. And for me, that was like a success. Because, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it, it's been a, a quite a good experience and quite a lovely journey. Um, mm. Yes. And also working at the gallery has been... Yes, so working at the gallery requires you to have like uh, energy. You need to be uh, there, 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 because um, you need to be quick. You need you're working with people. You need mm. you need to multitask basically, and it, it's been quite a, a good experience. Also, actually, interning at APS, uh, actually being exposed into these opportunities, uh, be having to work at uh, at the art fairs having to be part of the exhibition plannings. Uh, it's been quite a uh, very, very interesting and a lovely journey. And yeah, mm. it's interesting to be cool. So before we, we finish off, um, you guys are preparing for TEF now, right? And mm -hmm. um, I wanted to know what, what you guys have learned. So you, you started the year early last year for Cape Town Art Fair. And then this year is turbine and you, you guys are still working together. So what has changed between then and now in terms of like your art making? Um, are you experimenting more with printmaking and pushing those boundaries? Because this turbine art fair uh, theme is, um, what, what is it again? It's, it's bold, it's fresh, it's bold, it's edgy. Are you guys um, doing that? Well, uh, first thing first, she's not crying about me now being late. <laughs> so, <laughs> so at least that's a step forward. That's a step uh, to 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 good things. And uh, 
this time uh, we actually uh, brought our A game basically. Mm. So we wanted uh, to work uh, fast, quick, and explore and play uh, and and focus basically, and actually get to understand the medium, uh, the quality of the medium, and so that you, when we put it out there, get to Learn how to explore different exactly. and techniques at the same time. Yes, awesome. Mm. Say that so, again, Shabu. Uh, learn how to explore different mediums and techniques at the same time. Mm. Cool. And to be able to work with under pressure. Yeah. And, research, and researching more about uh, what you are doing and what you are busy with. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I think it's been quite... Um, a uh, nice thing to see you guys working in that uh, pro shop space. Um, ever since, as Chabutel was mentioned, ever since last year, um, also preparing for Cape Town Art Fair, which was in Feb uh, this year, it's been quite amazing to see you guys and how you are growing um, together. Uh, as Chabu said, uh, she's growing technically also as a printmaker, uh, being able to learn a bit more and um, take on a lot, a few more projects. Begazella, uh, in terms of like, I know how much you struggled with color parts. Um, we'll let the participants um, and all our guests actually see for themselves. Cause we got a very lovely clip of um, you guys in action, which is kind of a snippet for you guys to see what will be um, available at the upcoming Turban Art Fair. And I do have to mention that these videos are available on our YouTube page as well as on our Instagram. So if you want to go check it out again, please go. That's amazing. That's is so exciting. <laughs> yeah, no, your color has improved. I've never seen so much bold work, so much colorful work. It's yeah. really, really amazing, Vegas. Eh? Oh, thank you very much. It's been having it's having a good team to working with. So yeah, thank you very much to travel. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think it's quite something, uh, like we said, very, very special to see how you guys are growing. And it is one of those things that's kind of like known. And um, it's something that's quite known in terms of like in the printmaking world that when an artist has good synergy with a printer, they're just gonna be working together forever and ever. I think we can also uh, look at um, the likes of Pontos Kosana, who works so much, so very closely with Philemon Fumwane also. Mm -hmm. I think it's one of those things where they exclusively print um, together. So it's quite uh, quite nice to see how you guys are growing. And we'll remember all of this footage that we are seeing of you guys together, uh, printing um, all of these amazing works. And just on another note, before we go off to introduce the next artist that's joining us, we have finally defeated technology. It was blocking us from being here. So you can see us, you can finally see us. We are right here. It's so good to see you guys. It's nice seeing everybody. There's a lot more people joining our participants uh, and this whole webinar. So welcome to you all again. Sanbonani, San Bingelela. Um, thank you so much for joining us. It is so good to see you guys. Um, so many different partners, so much. Um, so many different staff members also joining us. Ilzi, um, everyone, Fahima, uh, Kim, 
multitasking because they also had another event, but they had to join in. So thank you so much. You could be anywhere, but you are here with us and we really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. So that's the journey of the artists when they move from being a student to being a graduate um, and an internet artist proves to you and then becomes the next big peril, which is the journey then to become like an established artist. So we also have the opportunity then to work with quite a lot of our artists and see them flourish as they're growing uh, out there in the world and they are doing so many amazing things. I'm gonna be introducing or handing over to Tracy, who's then gonna be introducing the next artist that we have. One unfortunately couldn't join, but we'll still show showcase some of the works that they've been doing so you can, can, uh, can have a sneak peek of like we said, what's gonna be coming up at Turban Affair. Tracy, over to you. Thank you, Nati. Um, hi to everyone joining us tonight. Um, as Nati said, you could have been anywhere else, but you are right here, you know, listening to these amazing stories. So I have the honor of chatting to Lebo Hang Mudaung. Hmm? I have the honor of chatting to Lebo Hang Mudaung. Um, so Lebo, since you graduated, you know, you've been achieving like big milestones, shaking the art world, you know, to literally say. But let's really start from the beginning. When did you graduate from APS? Hi, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can hear you. All right. So I, I graduated from APS in 2015. And so before I came to APS, I went to study fine arts at Bow University of Technology, but I wanted to further my filmmaking skills. So I came here in, 20, um, in 2014. So because I already had like a little knowledge of filmmaking, I was able to jump the first year and then they put me in second year. So I did second year and third year. So I got here in 2014 and then graduated in 2015. Mm. Yes, thank you. And here at Artist Proof Studio, you know, um, since your student years are now moving into, you know, your professional careers, one can say that there are so many opportunities to really learn about being an artist, literally like on the job, like at Artist Proof Studio. What would you say you have taken from Artist Proof to help you with your journey to your professional career? Um. So... I've, I've learned a lot from artist proof. Uh, mostly, um, I won't talk about the skills that I've learned because I've learned a whole lot of skills. But the most important thing I think I've learned from APS was, um, um, what can I say, um, a sense of community. Because I was already mm. coming from a university where I was studying fine arts, which was a lot of studying. And then I came here and I, it was just amazing to be in this community of artists. Um, I've, I've made a lot of friends and it is just nice for me to like be with this amazing talented artist whereby I have ideas, I share with them. I, I have like, we share a lot of, of ideas and like concepts. Mm -hmm. I have a question, I go to this artist. And what's nice is that, is that um, I've, I've made those friends here at APS and because APS was a community where everybody was welcome, like I've met a lot of people and most of those people are, are still, I'm still friends with even today, like we still help each other because we know our struggles. You know, this, the art industry is a small industry whereby we need each other as an artist. Mm -hmm. So being at APS, I got an understanding that as an artist, like I'm not an island, like I, don't, I do not exist alone. So like, um, that's, that's, that's the most important thing. I made a lot of friends who are still friends with today. And yes. also working with the, the pro shop team, like the master printers, like, um, I can say that like, you know, when I leave my place and I go to the pro shop, even today, like I know like I'm going home and when I have ideas, I can always go to them and share them with them if I wanna do something. From when I was, a, was when I was still a student, even now, when I have ideas, when I wanna explore something, I go to them and I tell them, "Look, guys, this is what I wanna do." Um, they help me a lot with that, you know. And mm. 
yeah and and also i remember when i was still a student um at artistic studio we, we we collaborated a lot with corporate companies and that's where i got to learn to interact with clients interact with other artists there was actually a couple of projects while i was while i was still a student where i had to facilitate it was murals where i had to facilitate so by doing that i actually got to learn the business side of art while i was still a student here yeah. um i've learned a lot about how to you know how to go about the business side of art which is something i'm still um, which is something that's helping me today. This is something I learned while I was a, while I, while I was still a student. This is how you this is how you um, this is how you approach a client. This is how you approach a sale and stuff like that. So with APS working with um, um, these um, collaborations with corporates and all that, it helped me a lot to know more about the business side of art, which is something. Um, I never actually knew before I came to APS. And also, like I said, I learned a lot, a lot of skills. I remember on my final year in 2015, I got the opportunity through APS to go and study at Boston. And that's where I was able to learn more skills, more, more pre-making techniques. And I was in a different environment. I got to see what other people were doing there. And that's what I think that's where I found myself, basically. Mm. That's where I found myself. That's when I was like, okay, this is the artist that I want to be. Because I remember I got introduced to paper making. Um, and I was working with amazing people, amazing people who were there for me. Like they were leading me, like showing me every step of the way. Like that's where I got, I love pre-making and I came here because of pre-making. Then I, but then I mm. got there and I was like, there's actually more to this. There's actually more yes. I can do. And that's how I got to do the work that I'm doing now, the work I'm, that I'm known for. I actually started doing that when I was in Boston. Um, it started from paper making and then it went from what it is now. But that's where I started doing it. Yeah. Mm. I think it's quite incredible because I can really um, attest to what um, they were saying in terms of like the growth community, the sense of community when you come here. I remember the first few times we were still in the bus factory when label came and then brings these linos and everybody in the studio, staff members, students, printers, everybody was just like, eh, there's this student who is applying. Everybody's looking at these linos. Everybody was just blown away. I think it was just that thing that when the first thing that you arrived, I think you just had that thing where and everybody could just see where you were heading uh, in terms of like the trajectory of your 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 journey and you as a professional artist. Um, and then in terms of like the collaboration, I think it is the way that you put yourself out there. It is the way that you are committed to your work also, because all of these things don't just happen. It's one of those things that um, there has to be something that the the, um, the partner also sees in you. I think. If I mention a few partnerships or collaborations that have happened under your belt, also uh, while we're still at Artist Proof, you worked with uh, with Cartier also. I think from 2017-18, and then Holland murals also. So your artworks are also at um, the Holland Park Town campus, um, where we collaborated also with I2 Art and Show, who was a, a great supporter of our education program. So in terms of those names already. I'm sure there's quite a few other big names that you've been working with um, in your journey, uh, becoming an established artist. Tell us a few about those. Yeah, so like I said, especially with the Hollard uh, project, remember I was actually working with you closely, like the first murals that we did, like I was working closely with you with like facilitating the murals. So like I was mentioning that that helped me a lot to know the business side of art. This is how you go about doing a proposal. This is how you go about approaching a client. This is how you do this. So for me, I took those things and I put them into my own practice, into my own art making. And ever since then, uh, like I said, I've, I've, I've actually, what happened was that after I finished at APS, I got the opportunity also, which was very great to be part of the, um, project space, which was run by Benon Lutaya. 
So I got to be part of the project space. And then while I was still there, I got to learn a lot. Um, I was part of this, uh, I was part of Cape Town Art Fair. And then <laughs> luckily there was this artwork that I did for Cape Town Art Fair, which went viral and then it was trending all over the world. Literally, it was trending all over the world. And because of that, I got to, I got opportunities and I got, um, I got approached by um, hair brands and which you know that my work ever since from when I, I was uh, applying at APS with the first line of card, it was about hair. It was a line of cards with like um, details of the hair in it. So that's what I've always been doing. My work has always been focused on like hair, celebrating the art of hair styling because I've always, I've, I used to be a hairstylist because I, before I became an, an artist. So after that work uh, went viral, I got the opportunity and I was approached by hair brands. And since then I worked on like shoots for magazines. And I also worked on like, uh, I also worked with hair brands and there's another, <laughs> there's other projects that are coming up. So I got to like, because I've always been the one person who's like, and that's what I liked about APS also. That's what I said. Because also with the prints that I did for Turbine Art Fair this year, I actually did something that I've never done before. <laughs> I got to the pro shop and they were like, no, but Lebu, you have never done this. And you know me, Nat. I'm one person when I'm comfortable with the technique, I stay there it's and it's so hard for me to move to other, you know, to other techniques. But they were like, no, please try this. Um, don't just uh, stick with Lino. We know you do Lino. Try this, and the, which is what I did also for Tebana. I'm actually do. I did something that I've never done before, and it came out amazing. So it was that other thing that like um, I was like, um, yes, I'm doing art, but my art is about hair. It's about um, the struggles that women go through because of their hair and all of that. So it was like for me, it was a good opportunity to, to actually say, you know what. I can actually move into other things. So yeah, I think um, I hope I think I'm gonna be doing more of those also. I've, I've collaborated with hair brands and I'm still gonna have collaborated with fashion and stylists yeah. and all that. So which is something I'm also gonna keep doing. Yeah, I don't wanna I don't wanna mention. Don't don't spoil it too much. <laughs> We're also gonna allow the audience to see some yeah, of these things. No, I don't, uh, yeah, some of these great projects but yeah. we know that there is also a video um put together of some of the things that you've been doing um it's nice to see some of your monoprints um mm. i think monoprint is probably one of the most difficult techniques that a lot of artists whenever they come to the studio we're like monoprint they're like nope i'm not playing yeah. that game but i think you took the challenge on and you did I an took amazing it yeah, it yeah. was amazing and I really enjoyed it. And I think I'm yeah. going to be doing more. Yeah. Well, let's see this clip so we can also know a bit more about what else you're doing because I think it's very, very special. All right, cool. Hi, my name is Lohan Mutau. I am a visual artist. My interest in printmaking started after graduating from the VUT in 2013. I then went and enrolled at Artist Proof Studio to learn more printmaking techniques. My work explores ideas of beauty for women and I focus mostly on hair. My biggest highlight in my art career was when I was part of the Project Space Residency Program and my work was featured at the 2019 Cape Town Art Fair. And with the help of social media, my work was able to reach the international market. I started showcasing my works internationally. I've collaborated corporate businesses, hair brands, fashion designers, and publications. I can really relate to this year's Turbine Art Fair, which is fresh, bold, and edgy. And working with the Artist Proof team has pushed my printmaking to another level. I hope to see you at the fair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it's quite exciting. Yeah. I think it's also one of those, um, the first few slides that were in that video, which you can also check out on our Instagram, by the way, showcases those line of cuts that you were still doing while you were a student at VAT applying here at Artist Proof Studio. So it's quite a nice thing to see how that journey has happened for you. Yeah. yeah. So another artist, as we mentioned um, before um, we're coming to a close was Sepiso Temba. 
who is essentially struggling to get uh, connected with us, but we can't not showcase his work because this then takes off the edgy side of the um, Turban Art Fair criteria. So we'll just play a clip of what you can expect from his work. A rich man's world. exciting stuff guys what do you think about that it will be quite interesting to see how everybody reacts to those words but i think we like his work because it speaks the truth it speaks about certain things that uh, people are shying away from and i think he's bold enough that he's able to take some of these topics head on and then put them out there in the works at the in the world um because i think they spark off quite a few interesting conversations if interesting dis uh, discussions, arguments, however you want to take it. But before we come to a close, we wanted to then just give a shout out to all of the other artists uh, that we're gonna be featuring. We have 12 featured artists in total, 12 featured artists that we're gonna be showcasing throughout the weekend on the 21st up until the 24th. So make sure that you come through. Our very own Rene Matibe, also has produced some work so you gotta definitely check those out also it's so 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 good to see staff members also being um getting out of the comfort zone and then being able to be artists also so big ups to Ray, support her also because she spent quite a few long hours uh at night printing some of these works so i think yeah she definitely deserves all the respect that she can get and the support that she can get also there so guys um i don't know if there's anybody else who wants to add on anything before we come to a close also yeah i just wanted to say that i mean this year's uh turbine has been really a great um production success in terms of working with uh, artists and bringing back um, people like Label to come and print with us again. <laughs> she's been <laughs> she's been MIA for a while, but now she's back. And to see like most of the graduates coming back um, and and printing with us, um, and also just documenting the documentation of the process. Um, images and videos done by Bettino, who's also an intern, um, has been really great. So I think overall in terms of the studio working towards an art fair like this as as big as this is really amazing when everybody just comes together um artists students staff members um yeah to make it a great success yeah i think i definitely have to add to that i think guys all of us here let's just give them a big round of applause i know that they're yeah. watching Big ups to you guys. We really, really appreciate it. All the printers, all the staff members, everybody involved. It is so amazing to see how everybody's just pulling together. We are mm. very, very excited about this. If you are not buying your tickets, if you're not joining us there, you're going to be missing out unless you go to our website. If you go to our website, we'll reserve some um, editions so you can have a look also. But make sure you get your prints definitely something new something very fresh you're not going to be seeing any of these prints um, staying with us for a long time lots of the editions are going to be sold out a lot of the prints are also uh, one of prints as far as i know tracy right yes yeah actually we do have a lot of monotypes so you know it's almost like a first come first basis um you really don't want to miss um the collection that we've got yeah, yeah. <laughs> raymond 
Uh, guys, if you have any questions uh, in the audience, please send them through in our chats. Mm -hmm. Raymond is available. We will have some Raymond, some fresh new Raymonds that are going to be available, Robin. Um, like we said, we're going to be sending all of this communication to you, giving you sneak peeks. So stay tuned to more uh, of these videos that we're going to be sending out, more posting on our YouTube page, on our Instagram page, um, via email also. If you're not on our mailing list, make sure that you get other people to join our mailing list. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we're going to be just keeping um, everybody in tune. So we're going to be releasing as of the 18th. We're going to be pumping it up. We're going to be putting out a lot more pressure and just sending out all of these artists. Uh, we just don't want to spoil it as yet, but from the 18th, stay tuned. The heat is going to get turned on. We're going to move right from winter right into summer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think if there's any more questions, um, you guys can definitely let us know. Uh, you can contact us at Artist Proof Studio, of course. Um, there's various different channels on social media um, that we mentioned, as well as coming through to our studio. Uh, we are based in, in Houghton, at the Isle of Houghton. So if you also want to come through, please, you're welcome. You'll get to see quite a lot that's happening. You'll get to meet our incredible team of staff, uh, printers, um, students also and then maybe get sneak peek of some of the works. But there's always something to see at the Artist Proof Studio. Um, the works that we're also going to be featuring include um, a lot of student works, a lot of graduate works. So prices start from 1,200, maybe even less, but all the way up about uh, 50,000 Rand. So there is definitely something for you to get. If you needing to get a gift for somebody, come through to our booth. We are booth number 30. So make sure that you come through. And um, I think that's it. So in closing, I'd like to thank everybody here. We'd like to thank everybody that's joining us from different parts of the world. Um, Simon, we hope to meet you. I think you mentioned that you could be some coming in September. September is the Jobic Art Fair also. So we also have something very special. Maybe that's a good time to come. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. But um, any last words, guys, before we close off uh, and thank everybody? Yeah. I mean, I hope to see everyone there at the fair. It's going to be great. It's going to be exciting. I really love this year's theme. Um, yeah. And the new space as well. I can't wait to see how they're going to transform it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. definitely. Um, the same for me here, you know. Um, I think uh, really we've bought the fresh, we've bought the bold, we've bought, definitely bought, bought the edgy as well. So I'm just like, I can't wait to actually see all of this print, you know, um, on the wall, you know, in the browsers. Um, I can't wait for that energy. It's going to be so much fun. Mm. Yeah, also, on, on our side, uh, it's more of uh, thank you very much for the opportunity. And please come through to our booth to, say, to experience uh, some bold, fresh art. And also we'll be featured in at odds uh, exhibition at mm. uh, Tevine. So also in Tupu. So please join guys. Uh, yeah. Thank you yeah. very much for the opportunity. APS really <laughs> much appreciated. <laughs> Maybe you need to. How did you even know I was speaking? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I would, I would also love to thank APS for this opportunity. Um, I'm, it's much appreciated for the opportunity to showcase at Taiwan. I say I can't wait. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and none of this is possible without you all. As we said, um, all the different guests, yeah. all the different partners, all of the different patrons that have been involved since 1991. <laughs> Um, all the way back. Um, thank you so much. Uh, we are looking forward to seeing you at Turban Art Fair itself. If not there, we are looking forward to seeing you online. Like we said, we're also going to be showcasing some of those prints there online. So thank you very much. Uh, if you're going to be joining us again, we'll be sending out another com. We'll have another webinar uh, next week, Wednesday, the 20th of July. That one is going to be more focused uh, in terms of like 
collectors at different levels. I believe that I'm still starting out as a collector. There's the various different people starting out as collectors. What does the term collector mean? What does printmaking, what makes printmaking so special? Find all that out next week. So guys, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Keep well, keep safe. We love you all. Bye. Bye. <laughs>